is Joanne, our wonderful caretaker that just made us pancake breakfast and coffee. And um, yeah, it's been great here. Day three of my eight day trek. Um, Things are going so well for me this time around that I may even want to go longer than eight days. Uh, looking ahead on the weather, 10 day though, there are two days of rain, 70% uh, chance of rain and storms possible. You know, at that point I might be able to look at that a little closer after talking to others who have been out here during that rainstorm that we had on Tuesday that I decided to skip heading out because of. So, um, <clears throat> I don't know yet, but uh, I do know that, like I said, things are going much better this time around. Got to weigh my pack last night at the uh, Blackburn Trail Center. Wow, super nice place to stay. Talked about that already yesterday when I went in there. Um, donation based. Um, they, the trail um, center caretaker suggested between five and ten dollars. I left a 20. That was a really nice place. Couldn't have uh, Spent a nicer night elsewhere for cheaper, so 20 bucks worth it. Um, a little bit of challenging rocks this morning. That is okay. Got started about 10 minutes earlier today than I did yesterday. I'm still uh, pushing nine o'clock, but this morning I uh, stuck around for breakfast and uh, Joanne makes some really good pancakes that were uh, worth getting a little bit later of a start and you know to be honest I was uh, sleeping again at around 7 a.m. for a few minutes because uh, I don't know why but I didn't sleep that well last night. I was comfortable mentally, um, felt very serene and at rest. For some reason, my body just didn't want to stop. I think I had that restless leg thing going on, except for it was more like a restless butt. <laughs> Kept moving around in all different directions and stuff. But uh, other than that, it was a very nice night. Um, got my phone all charged up, got my power charger all charged up, and uh, it's probably a good thing because it looks like I'm going to be spending the night tonight at a tent site, so there will be no charging happening. Um, so anyway, um, things are looking and feeling good this morning. Feeling refreshed like I had a good night's sleep so during the times that I was sleeping and not waking myself by tossing and turning I slept very well so I uh, had to work on that getting uh, a little bit more restful sleep at night maybe um, doing some longer mileage during the day will help make that happen um, I don't feel sore or icky at all. Feel good. So uh, definitely gonna put in more than three miles today. It was three miles day one, starting at 12:30, and then uh, 3.8 miles yesterday. Day two, and. Um, Today, I have a minimum of 4.4 .4 to 
to get to a tent site, but uh, I'm gonna look ahead and see if I can find a shelter with, you know, a reasonable mileage ahead of that, because I really should be doing more miles. Like I said, maybe that'll help me sleep better at night if I get myself a little bit more tired. If the body wants to go, moving around, Maybe the body can make it further. So, uh, anyway, just looking at day three now. It's about 9.30 a.m. right now. And uh, we'll be checking in later. Maybe when I see something cool or have something more exciting to say. Very far before I found something cool. There's a set of rocks here that were clearly placed. <sighs> Look at the equipment that would have had to been used to place that. One on top of the other, on top of the other. Huge, huge rocks. This one looks like, I don't even know, 15 feet long by uh, three feet high. This is cool. More up there, and over here. That's cool. Just south of Wilson's Gap here. I had to just get in a quick clip. It's such a serene spot here we're in. Um, yeah, that's all I wanted to say is just how serene and beautiful it is here. This is pretty cool here. I saw an opening off of the trail to the east. So I just thought I would take a peek through and see if there was a little walk through sort of kind of a foot beaten path. Anyway, really pretty cool scenery here. <laughs> kind of a drop off. It's beautiful though. Holy Rock City here. <laughs> Watching where my feet are as well as trying to look ahead a little bit. It doesn't go very far. It looked a lot worse than it was. Rocks, 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 and more rocks. Hard to even tell where the trail is here. Huh. Into this thing. It is 10 to 1, and I am about four, four and a half miles from my destination for the day. Um, finding myself to be uh, pretty much about a mile an hour. Um, so if that calculation is correct, I should be there between four and four, or excuse me, Five and five thirty, um, but I would think for sure by six, you know, regardless of the terrain, because I know I'll hit the north end of the roller coaster before I get to the uh, site that I'm going. Looking for Bears Den Hostel. Sounds like, according to some notes on the uh, Good Hooks page from uh, another hiker that you get um, 25 bucks gets you a sleep, shower, laundry, P 
pizza and ice cream for dinner and then the breakfast in the morning. So uh, all of those things, whoa, tripping and falling, all of those things would be uh, welcome. <laughs> At this point, believe it or not, the one thing I'm looking the most forward to doing is getting rid of the trash I've packed out because that's starting to really fill up the bag that I um, thought would be a good bag for trash. So, um, just some kind of sign here. I'm gonna look what it says. But anyways, just met um, some cool hikers named Walmart and um, Little Bear in uh, they were cool. Little Bear is doing a through hike, and I'm not sure how far or how long um, Walmart's doing, but they were really interesting guys to talk to. Had about a 10 minute conversation with them. Okay, um, it says, hiker warning, you are about to enter the roller coaster built and maintained by the trail boss and his crew of volunteers. Have a great ride. The off button there. Anyways, um, so it's interesting how it goes hiker warning and then has have a great ride so i am now entering the roller coaster so um let's see what that looks like right now it's a pretty flat sandy cushiony path so uh i don't think i'm gonna be looking at this nice path for very long or they wouldn't call it the roller coaster Anyways, um, um, yeah, so see where we're at in a little bit here. I'll check back in and let you know if and when it gets tough. So this is Raven Rock, quite the beautiful view here. I met some cool people that are southbound through hiking this year. And this is the ledge that you do not want to step over. This is the trail. <laughs> you do not know where to step. And it goes on for a little ways, it looks like. So, because I did that approach trail and hated it so much, everything that I do here on the actual AT, I compare it to. And, you know, I'm already um, a couple miles in. I'm not exactly sure how far. A couple miles into the roller coaster. And other than that little clip of uh, rocks going over a spring, which was very challenging, especially where there were some loose ones and you didn't know when one was loose or whatever. Um, other than that, this uphill trek, which I'm hoping ends where you can see that um, rock at the top there. I don't know if the video is picking it up. I'm hoping this section here ends there. This is the only thing that I've seen so far that beats out the approach trail. So this and that that other rock covered spring area. So we'll see how it goes. I am uh, going to put the phone away and do this. All right, YouTube, I am coming up to where you have to cross Virginia Route 7. I believe that that means this is where I cross into Virginia, but I'm not 100% sure of that. 
anyway, um, we're uh, gonna head this way. I've heard it's a busy road of traffic to cross over, so okay, I'll let it go. Oh my, somebody left their keys. I would hate to be that person. Um, okay, so turn left here and then across the busy road of traffic. crossing I should say. I'm gonna go ahead and cross here and then I'll figure out which way I'll go. This is a busy, 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 busy road. Starting at the back here, we got a few bunks, looks like a TV and a sitting area. This is Bears Den Hostel, there's a microwave and a refrigerator, shelf and some blankets. Computer with internet rules. I would like to sleep in this bed. That's all I'm going to do for now because I'm going to take a minute to get set up. I am staying at the Bears Den Hostel. 30 bucks got me. Sleep, shower, laundry, pizza, soda, breakfast in the morning. I feel like there's something else, but right now I can't feel it. Very excited to be here. 